My name is Lerato, Lerato Chandoma. I am from Lesotho, which is a country in Southern Africa. I came to Canada having been a lawyer in Southern Africa for a number of years and feeling quite disillusioned about what that meant for me in a new constitutional dispensation. So I came over here to start a new life. When I first arrived, I was terrified and excited all in one. I had moved all the way across the world to a place where I knew nobody. But the excitement was in charting a new course, redefining my identity. And I never thought that I would actually reclaim my culture in the way that I have and my indigenous heritage by moving so far away from home. My priorities have shifted because of my experiences working in the front lines in communities. I'll never forget working in the community of Ahadasat out near Zabalis where the community population was 80 people. A lot of people struggling to put food on the table for their families and children and yet being welcomed as one of their own always being offered a meal, always being offered comfort, always being offered emotional support to a people who seemingly from the outside had very little. And I think that is the story of the indigenous spirit, indigenous resilience, a people who have been here since time immemorial and still continue to have grace, openness, kindness, gratitude, I think we could all learn from them. And so for me, the priority has shifted to create a, an inclusive and open society where everybody has equal opportunities. I hope to create a space where Indigenous voices will lead on issues that are their own and that impact themselves. To really create the opportunity for indigenous communities to effect and actualize research about themselves and therefore have reliable, current, relevant data about their own communities and their own peoples. This is too important for us to wait for others to do it. The time is now. It's our generation that can bring this change for our children, for, for indigenous communities and their children. Equality, inclusion, diversity, these are the backbones of really strong societies. And it cannot be this hard for us to create space for people who were here before we got here. And so my call is for you. What is your individual call to action for reconciliation? What can you do today to be an agent of change?